Hello everybody. I would like to make a special kind of video today. Um, now as you can see I have a Mac Pro here. I've been a Mac fag for the past three years. Um, although I'm an avid uh, Linux user, uh, I use my Mac for a lot of things as well. Um, every half a year or so I try to run Linux on it. Um, this is actually one of the reasons uh, or one of the desires that I've had since the beginning is to just get the MacBook and run Linux on it. And unfortunately, uh, I haven't been quite able to do so. Now, in this series of videos, I will show you different um, Linux distributions and, and how do they run out of the box on my uh, 2012 uh, 15-inch MacBook Pro. Uh, this is a Retina model, so the first Retina model that Apple made uh, and um, without further ado, here we go. So what I have here is Anturk OS, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Uh, and it's a Arch Linux based distribution, which comes with a like really, really nice installer for basically Arch and a couple of extra niceties. So it makes it more uh, Ubuntu-like experience, um, if, if that's okay for me to say. Uh, so the first thing that I noticed is when it booted up, um, it actually looked pretty. Uh, scaling just worked out of the box. It was pre-configured um, to just work. And I was like, oh, awesome, Retina is supported now. Um, so what I have here is GNOME 3.14. Now I believe tomorrow GNOME 3.16 is being released, which comes with a lot of new improvements uh, for uh, high resolution displays, but anyway, I, I, I digress. Um, God damn it, I already have it open. Sorry, I'm not that familiar with GNOME. I've been using uh, Unity for quite a while now. Um, anyway, so the Retina display seems to just work out of the box and the scaling works pretty well, but it only does so in the GNOME apps. And once you go into something else, like for instance, I have Google Chrome running here, you can see things are absolutely tiny. So if I open, uh, if I open Reddit right here and close it up, it looks fine. But then this is like uh, the big picture view and uh, you obviously can't see anything. So scaling isn't quite enabled in all the applications. Um, but if I click on one of the components, for instance, the menu right here, it opens up in a scaled mode. So I guess uh, the Retina support still has ways to go on, on uh, Linux or on uh, GDK and GNOME Shell at least. Okay, so let's move to the next uh, topic, the keyboard. Um, a lot of the controls work now. Actually, I believe all of them do. So for instance, there is a volume up and down. And as you can hear, um, audio works out of the box. And we have play, next, sorry, play, next, forward. I don't have audio player open, so it doesn't quite work. Um, and we have backlighting on the keyboard. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I can increase it. And decrease it and it works just fine. Um, and these two aren't bound to anything. And then we have the display brightness. So as you can see, it works just fine. Now, one thing that you don't get is an auto brightness. So if I cover the camera, uh, nothing happens. It doesn't brighten up or down based on the environment. Um, the touchpad seems to kind of work, um, so you can move the cursor and click around and double click works and scrolling works just fine. However, if you rest your thumb uh, on the trackpad, it doesn't work anymore, so you, you can't do anything. And this is really annoying because uh, the trackpads on MacBooks are huge and uh, it's really hard not to rest your thumb on, on the um, touchpad. And it's also very convenient, so you can like move around and then just click. Um, and unfortunately, this isn't supported out of the box. Also, I haven't seen any gesture support, so whatever I do, um, 
there doesn't seem to be any integration uh, with that. Um, another point is Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi doesn't work out of the box. Um, the reason for that is because this MacBook has a Broadcom chip, so you will need a DKMS kernel package, a special driver for, for this Wi-Fi chip or Wi-Fi card. Um, I haven't tested Bluetooth yet. I believe it should just work out of the box. Okay. Uh, and also, as you can see, the Intel HD graphics works just fine. Uh, and you should probably have no issues installing NVIDIA drivers as well. Um, however, I'm not sure if the, uh, if the Intel HD to NVIDIA switching works uh, as it does on a Mac or Windows. Okay, so now the final test is suspended resume. So what happens when I close the lid? It should go to sleep. Let's see, let's give it a couple of seconds. It's still on. Okay, so it went to slip, sleep. Now let's see if it resumes. Oh, all right, it works out of the box. So the last time I tried this on Ubuntu, it didn't quite work, but here it seems to work just fine. The only issue is that, that I've seen right now, the Wi-Fi doesn't reconnect automatically, so. I assume we have, yep, we have no internet. Anyway, this is my uh, how, this is my first video in the series of how does Linux run on MacBooks. Um, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.